Alright, hey YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here, um, vlog 9, hard to think that it's already 9, but um, I'm here with absolutely nothing new to report, how cool is that, um, the only reason I'm actually really doing this video is cause it's been a while since 8, and I wanna kinda like do this weekly. And even though there's absolutely nothing new for me to show you, or comment on, or anything like that, um, I'm recording this anyway, so it's kind of just going to be a ramble. Um, no packages, nothing like that. Um, I do have one from CS Toys coming. It just got shipped on yesterday's show. Um, it is going to have figure arts, decade complete, decade completo. Uh, Kuga, Mighty Form, Kabuto, Normal Form Kabuto, because I actually don't have that one yet, and uh, the Memory Gadget Series um, Stag Form from Kamen Rider Double. Um, so look forward to those in a little over a week. I should be getting one about Monday or Tuesday of uh, the following week. So hopefully... We'll get those pretty fast. I can get those up. Um, I'm going to be splitting those into four different videos, obviously, the stag phone. And then none of these figure arts have anything in common with each other, so I'm just going to plow through each of them singly. Um, the Kick Hopper review went pretty well with just one figure, so I'm going to do that. The, uh, the combined photo gallery is still coming. Uh, I didn't forget about that. Uh, but with these three coming, I might as well just hold off until... Uh, until they get here so I can just do one big photo extravaganza. Um, in other news, um, Mr. S just told us that the Gatak, why do I always add the T to the end of that? I don't know why. Gatak, um, figure arts getting re-released in February, I believe. Let me double check that. Late, late February. Attack is getting re-released. So that just means I need Punch Hopper. And then my Kabuto set is done. Sans the uh, two Zek Trooper exclusives that I may or may not get depending if I can get them on pre-order at all. But they're kind of stupid anyway, but I'm a completist, so. Uh, but I'm really excited about that. I'm glad he's getting re-released. Uh, otherwise, I'd be screwed. And I'm kind of hoping Punch Hopper gets released too because I can't find him anywhere. But, um, that's coming. Cyclone Joker, Common Rider Double, is getting released in February. Also, uh, Heat Metal Luna Trigger will be out in March. And then we have Sword and Drake in December. It's pretty much Christmas Day, actually. Um,. So I know what I'm ordering that night. Uh, Ixas in January, about January 25th or so. And then Black and Black RX are getting a re-release at the end of January as well. Uh, so I'm probably going to pick up all of those. Um, Black I'm iffy on because I haven't seen Black or Black RX. But um, Black RX was adapted into Saban's Mass Rider. And so I really like the like the design, and I can, I really I do want to watch Black RX, but I'm gonna watch Black first. I seem to find the subs somewhere. But, um, so I'll probably be picking those up too, and then Agito Trinity Form is an exclusive that's coming out in late January, along with the Machine Tornado, the uh, his bike, that's coming out too, and then Kuga Rising Ultimate Dark Eyes version is coming out late February. Uh, CS Toys might be getting some of those. I'm not entirely positive yet, but um, I'm going to try my best to pick those up. And we'll see what happens. As far as Transformers go, I don't really know what to say. Like, most of my Transformer purchases are just kind of like on, on the whim, on the dime kind of thing. Um, if I see it and I like it and I haven't bought anything in a while, then I'll pick it up. Uh, but if not, I'll probably just leave it sitting there. Um, most of the new stuff that's coming out looks pretty neat. But um, I'm not entirely sure... Oh, that was gay. I'm not entirely sure if um, 
what I'm getting yet. We'll have to just see and find out. Um, but definitely look forward to more Transformer reviews. I'm not going to, like, stop just because I'm focusing a lot on Power Rangers and Kamen Rider right now. Um, there's just nothing really out there that interests me that much, and they haven't actually released new figures in quite a while. Um, I'm pretty much seeing the same crap, so when they put out new stuff, I'll probably buy new stuff. That's how it works. Um, but I, I can't say for sure what I will be getting and what I won't be. Uh, if it's a Bumblebee, I'm gonna get it, obviously, <laughs> but, um, that's about all, so, we'll just kind of see what happens, and as far as Ranger stuff goes, I'm still looking for the Paleo Max Megazord, so I can do the review on that, and my, uh, RPM Megazord photo gallery, that's what I'm looking for, not gallery, but slideshow. Uh, where I just kind of like go over all of the different forms of the RPM Megazord combinations, even the ones that weren't in the show, just for kicks. Um, so, nothing really else to say about PR. I'm still looking for the normal Super Legend Samurai Ranger 2. So, if anybody wants to get me one. Um... The new MMPR 2010 toys uh, are out, supposedly. Uh, Linear Ranger, a uh, wonderful person in the fandom, um, he posted pics that he got from his order on ToysRust.com before they sold out. Um, they all look they look pretty cool. Um, they're four inch scale. They're not five inches, um, but that's that's fine. Uh, give us something new to work with. So like. Everyone's bitching about the 5-inch scale being reduced to a 4-inch, but I'm okay with it. I mean, it's something new. We've got MMPR toys already. Yeah, they're from 1993, and they suck, but, I mean, it's a new take on things. Uh, most toy lines now are 4-inch scale, so what are you going to do about it, guys? Just deal with it. Be happy with what we got. Um, I'll have a review of that entire series uh, once I find them. Don't don't expect it soon because California like just got them, and it's only been one sighting, and it usually takes like half a year to get anything from California to Michigan. So, um, we'll just kind of see what happens. So I know I've been saying that like throughout this entire log, but uh, just stick with me and see what happens, and I'll get up what I can. Um, as for upcoming reviews that are definite, um. I will be reviewing this. This is the Lego book. Um, it includes two books. One is the actual Lego book, and the other one is Standing Still, which is a celebration of 30 years of the Lego minifigure. I picked this up at Borders when I had a discount coupon, and it's a fantastic book if you like Legos. If you don't like Legos, then shame on you, you have no inner child. Um, I'll also be taking a look at the complete collection or super collection, I forgot what it was called, Kiva book that I got from uh, my good friend Eugene. Um, he requested that I take a look at it, and I will. And I also want to, since the toy reviews are kind of like going, because I can't find anything, um, I want to take a look at video games. I might try to dive into that market. Um, I want to review Wii Fit Plus and see how that goes, and probably Mario and Luigi and Scribble Knots and Kingdom Hearts and stuff like that. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. I'll give it my best shot. I'll say that. Um, that's about all. Nothing really too wild or exciting. Uh, just living life and that's really all there is to it. Um, big, big thanks to all of 98 of my subscribers. Uh, big thanks to you guys. Uh, I can't believe I've come this far as far as reviewing goes. Like, I just decided to do it on a whim because I thought it'd be fun. And now I actually have something that could actually be classified as an audience. Uh, every time I'm top onto the show, you guys are always really excited and give me all the support in the world, and it means a lot to me. I hate to get sentimental on you guys in the middle of a video log, but definitely means so much to me that uh, you guys like these and that you're 
legitimately looking forward to me doing them. So uh, that means a lot, and big thanks to each and every one of you, Exploding Shark, Commando Scar, um, who actually called me the best reviewer on YouTube. Uh, I don't know if I'm quite there yet, but uh, thanks for the comment anyway. Um, Kari Hirogen, personal friend of mine, um, thanks to you too. And, but, sorry I can't list off 98 people, but, um, thanks to all you guys. I really appreciate it. And, uh, if you have any questions, just send them my way, and I'll be glad to answer them. Um, for the people that don't like me, screw you. And for the people that do like me, rock on. Uh, that's about all. So, until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, take care.